The bachelor has asked April to meet him in the heart of Venice, where he will be whisking her off for a romantic lunch date. Hi, how are you? Thank you. You look really good too. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Excited. Yeah. And an instant sort of attraction to her. I couldn't really explain why, but I, I love having that feeling when you first meet someone. I can see that she's so quiet and she's a little bit reserved. And it's fine, because i got patience. She's, she's a special girl and, uh, you know, she's definitely one of those girls I look forward to seeing every time I meet up. Back at the start of the competition, April struggled with her confidence and was worried that she would be one of the first to go home. I'm the only one who hasn't got a chance to like speak to him and it was a bit upsetting. It just brings back like um, memories of when I was at school and I got bullied. Like being left out, always the odd one out. But she came out of her shell on the burlesque date. Why oh, do you yeah. suffer with confidence though? Mm. Well, I wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> so glad today. you said that. You look the part, trust me. At the masked ball, April impressed the bachelor's friends and found herself in his arms for the first time. I'm so happy they picked you anyway. So. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. they oh. And today's lunch date with The Bachelor is the first real chance she's had to take their relationship to the next level. I really, really wanted to get to know you more, like, the last few weeks. I haven't really been able to get to know you. Obviously, nothing that I could do about it. Like, when we're in large groups, I do try and talk, but I'm not the most yeah. out there no, person. I'm not going to speak for the sake of it. As I'm quite a shy person, so I'm like, oh. From day one, I've had an attraction to you. And, and, and you're someone I'm excited to get to know. But then I was also nervous about it because I've, I've held you in such high regard. Yeah. We haven't had that one-on-one -on -one yeah. time. And then I was worrying, you know, is there going to be something else? But yeah. I'm going to have to just work it out. Yeah. Which is what you want at the end of the day. You, want, you know, I want someone to be attracted to me for me. Yeah, and I don't want to pretend to yeah, be someone exactly. that I'm not. That's the worst thing. You seem really like family orientated and that's good like that's a really attractive quality in a person like, yeah I think. it is, is it? Because mm, definitely there's a concern if I have two kids I've never asked that before I'm just saying no do you get to see them often like, yeah no I do yeah I do well, that's good I don't have any childhood memories of my mum whatsoever so my parents split up um, I went with my dad I like seeing them independent and yeah, ambitious yeah, yeah. and stuff. But yeah. yeah. You come across as really strong, yeah. strong minded and everything. I did get moments when I was younger where I was like, everyone was at school, like, oh, like talking about their moms and like, oh, I'm going shopping with my mum, me and my mum done this, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I never had that. Now I look back and I can think, like, I had that great time with my, with my dad and my nan. Like, yeah, at least yeah. I had them in my life. Kind of a good way to look at it. I didn't ever want to be ungrateful for what I had, do you know what I mean, or what I didn't have. I couldn't believe it when April opened up about his sort of life history, in a way, about her childhood. Just to listen to that ex experience was, um, you know, it was heartfelt and it, and it touched, touched me, in a way. It's decision time. If The Bachelor chooses to give April a rose, she will be safe at the rose ceremony and through to the final five. If he doesn't, her journey will end here. Well, first of all, I just want to really thank you for today. I had an amazing time. Um, and I suppose what, what we spoke about today, you know, I, I took that as a compliment that yeah. you could open up to me. And, you know, I just look forward to spending more time with you and you hopefully getting on a more deeper level. And, you know, I'd obviously like to give you this rose if you accept it, please. Thank you. I'd love to. I'll also like to give you a kiss. That's all right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for an amazing day. I really enjoyed Thank it. you for a good day. It's been fun. Cool. I'm feeling so happy and like excited and just, oh, I can't even speak. <laughs> it was really good to kiss him. <laughs> I really enjoyed my day today with April. She completely relaxed then, and we had such a deep, open conversation then, which was great for me. And I think we immediately got on that deeper level, and we kissed. But you know, it was it wasn't a full-on kiss. You know, I could feel she was reserved that way, and and I respect that as well. Fair play. I was so nervous this morning. I was like a nervous wreck. Like so many things went wrong, but like no, it it went really well. And it was weird. Like I was telling him things that like I haven't told like previous boyfriends and stuff like that it just felt right but I'm so I'm so happy and I'm so glad that I was able to do that because I think he values that honesty